Hello, people of the internet. Uh, today, we're going to talk about freelance rates. Um, this is a topic that's probably been talked about tens of thousands of times. Um, so I'm going to give my really quick take on this. Um, the way that I set my freelance rates, the way that I the, the way that I bid projects is based off one thing and one thing only. What do I feel that I'm worth? So when you're looking at probably doing a freelance project or possibly working with a client, you need to set that bar too. What do you feel that you're worth? What do you feel that you're worth? What are your hourly rates? What do you think in your mind that you should be making every day, every week, every month? And then you should bid your projects off of that. That's super simple. I know that that, that that breaks some of the rules and some of the stuff that people talk about with statistics about this and how much you should rate charge for this pro project and this process and what you're doing for this and whatever. Let's, let's just toss all that out. Let's just start with this right off the bat, simple process. What do you think you're worth? If you think you're worth $25 an hour, then charge $25 an hour. If you feel that you're 50 or 100, or if you have to make $700 an hour to, to, to make whatever you're trying to make or whatever, then charge that. That's what you should charge. And then everything else helps you mold your bid. So if you really wanna work with the client, but yet they don't have the budget to work with your hourly rate, then maybe you adjust it a little bit there. If you, if you know that the client's gonna be difficult, maybe you adjust your rate a little bit there or whatever, but your very first, very first step should be how much do I feel that I'm worth? How much do I think that my time and my knowledge and my skill set is worth? And then go from there. Because if you start the if you start the process to where you cut your rate in half and say you're getting instead of thirty dollars an hour, you're getting paid fifteen dollars an hour or something like that, you're already gonna be upset. So then what happens? When the client comes in and they start having their their comments and their critiques and their stuff and they're breaking down your project and they're stretching the timeline to be longer than what it was supposed to be, then it's just gonna add to the tension and that upsetness and then you're just gonna be angry and then the client's gonna feel that and then you guys are never gonna wanna work together again. But if you start that bar right where you wanna get paid, to where you're like, in those 40 hours that I need to work, I'm gonna get paid X. And that sets the bar and you're like, awesome. I'm so glad I'm gonna get that money for that project and now I can move on to what this process is gonna be and I don't have to even stress about the money. I don't even have to think about it because I can think about the project, I can think about the client, I can think about the relationship between us, what they're trying to do and so then I'm not even worried about the money because guess what? I charged what I felt that I was worth for that time and so if they stretch the timeline, you, you, you've incorporated all of that stuff because you've set it right off the top. So I know that's quick and that's simple um, and I, I hope this is a help because there's so much stuff out there about different people with different tactics of bidding and processing and all this kind of stuff. But if you're by yourself and you're thinking, okay, I want to take this freelance project and what should I charge to do this logo or this animation or whatever, start right off the top. How long is it going to take you? And then what do you feel that you're worth? Anyway, thank you guys so much for your time. Um, please comment, like, share, subscribe. Give me your thoughts on what you think the, the freelance rate should be. I mean, everybody has their thoughts and it's also depending on where you're at in this world, you know. Um, anyway, uh, I hope to see you guys in the next video.